Hello, my writers. Today, I'm going to show you how to gather information about an animal using the slides uh, provided. So, when we're gathering, uh, when we're gathering information, we need to make sure that we're getting facts. Okay, so you might know information about your animal. But we don't want to just take it from what we might know or think we know. We need to gather the information from resources that we know are true or have facts in them. So that's why we're using our slides. So if you take a look at the screen, you see I have up all uh, let's learn about pigs. And if you had already looked through your slides, you might have seen that on the pig slide, there was something that said you can't use it. You can't use it because I'm going to use it as my model. And I'll be doing my nonfiction writing about pigs and showing you how to do it using this slide. So I picked pigs and I pulled it up. Now, I know a lot about pigs. I've seen pigs before. I've petted pigs before. Um, I even have a friend who has a pet pig. But I can't take the facts from what I already know. I need to take the facts from sites that I know have true information. So on every slide, you will see videos on the slide that are going to give you facts about your animal. They are true videos. They give you true information. Okay. You will also see a few books on the slides, okay, as well as other resources that you might have to have somebody read to you if you want to use them. Okay, so they're there for optional. Some of you might be able to read them. Some of you might need a grown-up to help you read them. But there are usually at least three or four videos about the animal you choose. Now, let's think about this. To gather my information, am I going to go over here first to how to draw a pig? No, right? So I might use that later on when I'm adding text features to my writing, but I don't need that right now. Today, I'm going to focus on just gathering my facts. So this is what we need to start with. I took a piece of paper and I divided it up into four parts. So I did that because when I'm gathering information, I want to try to focus on um, what I need to what I need to write about. So the common things that people write when they're using when they're writing about nonfiction and uh, sorry, when they're writing a nonfiction writing about animals, is they focus, you always hear facts about what the animal looks like, what the animal eats, usually some things about what they do, okay, what you find them doing, and then there's usually some other information, other interesting facts that you learn about when you're reading a nonfiction story about an animal. So what you're going to be doing, and I'll have this also um, in a materials room for you to see and so you know how to divide up your paper, but I would like you to pause the video now and get a piece of paper and draw your line and make your sections just so you understand what it looks like and how you're to do it. So let me put that closer, pause, get a paper and make yours look like this. Hit play when you're ready. All right, if you're hitting play, that's because you already took a paper and you divided it up and you wrote your words, made the little pictures on it. Okay, if you haven't, hit pause so you can do that because I'm gonna move my paper. All right, so I'm going to show you how I'm going to gather information about pigs. As I'm watching the videos, I'm going to be thinking about, well, what do pigs look like? What do they eat? Some things about what they do. So this little squealy line is like action. And then I'm going to think about some other information. So I'm going to look and choose one of these videos to watch. And as I'm watching, I'm listening for these things. When I hear something about what they look like, what they eat, what they do, or maybe something that's interesting to me, I'm going to hit the pause button so that I can take a minute and write down what I heard. So let me start with this video. Okay. 
Okay, so this video is pigs. Oh, so guess what? One of the first things I need to do that I should have told you from the beginning, I need to write my animal name up here. Now you don't need to do this on your paper yet because you wanna wait until you get onto your slide and you see how to spell your animal name. I could have taken it right off my slide, but as I can see on my book, it says pigs right here. So I'm gonna write down the name of my animal. I'm doing pigs. Okay, pigs. So I wrote it up here. You do not need to write this because you're not writing about pigs. That's only me. Okay, and when you're doing yours, do you see it says let's learn about pigs? Your animal name would be right up here as well. Okay, so you want to make sure you copy down your animal name and that it's spelled correctly since it's on your slide. So that's something I'm going to expect to be spelled right because you can copy it off of this off of your slide. All right, now I'm gonna play the video and I'm going to listen for, for some of these things. See if I can figure out what it looks like, eat, does, or star. I might need to watch more than one video to get that information. And I probably should watch all the videos that are on there to make sure that I'm gathering all the facts that I can. <laughs> Hello pigs! Short-legged pigs live on farms. Many stay in pig pens. Others walk around fields. All pigs have big ears and small eyes. Most have curly tails too. Oh, I'm gonna pause it right there. I just heard facts about what he, what a pig looks like. They said that most pigs have big ears. So that's about what they look like. So I'm gonna to go to the look like section and I'm gonna write down big ears. I don't need to write a sentence because I don't want to copy the words right from the book. If I take the words that are on the book, if I just copy that sentence that's showing right now, word for word, I'm stealing. I'm stealing the author's words and I don't wanna steal the author's words. I need to, to make them into my words. So I'm just writing down big ears on my paper. See, I wrote big ears. I can even put a little dot next to it because it's a fact, because it's not a sentence. See that, I put a little dot next to it, big ears. That's not a sentence. It's just a fact that I heard. I'm just writing down fact or facts that I hear. The other thing I heard on this page was that they have curly tails. And what's nice about this is I can look right on my screen on this video because it has words on it and I can write down the word curly tails. I see how to spell it on, my, on the book. Now, a lot of your videos, they're not gonna have the words on the screen. So you're gonna have to think about how you wanna spell, how it's spelled. Okay, and write it down and write it down as your notes. Okay, so sometimes some of these words you're gonna have to sound out. This one is on my screen. So see that I wrote curly tails. I didn't write the whole sentence because later I'm gonna write my own sentence about them having curly tails. All right, so now that I wrote it down, I'm gonna hit play and I'm gonna listen and see what else can I hear from this. Flat snouts help pigs dig for food. Oh, I just heard that they have flat snouts and I saw that one here. Let me just exit out there. Flat snouts. So I can write that down. That's another note I can write. Flat snouts. So I wrote that down. Flat snouts. I did not write this whole sentence. I didn't write flat snouts help pigs dig for food. I didn't write that whole thing. I just put down that they have flat snouts. I could maybe write down on do. I could say dig for food. That's something that they do. But maybe I don't want to do that yet. Maybe I want to listen more and see if I see it here other things that they do. I don't have to write down everything. Pigs are good swimmers. Pigs like to be clean, but they also wallow in mud. Oh, I didn't know that. That is something that they do. I didn't know that they're good swimmers. So I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna write down swim, or I could write down, I, I don't know if I wanna write down swimmers. I'm gonna write down the word swim because I learned that they can swim. And they like to be clean, but they like to wallow in the mud. So, hmm, 
So I could say wallow, I could use that word, wallow in mud, or I could say play in mud, because I know wallow is like rolling around playing in it. Maybe I'll say play in mud. Okay, so do you see how I'm gathering my facts? Every time I listen, I see if I hear something about these things. Now, this story, as I'm going through, it might tell me about what they eat. It might give me another interesting fact, but it might not. So I need to make sure that I'm listening to more than one book to get information from it. Okay, you always want to listen, find information in more than one book. People who are writing nonfiction stories, they read a lot of books and listen to a lot of videos and maybe even observe their animal in nature to get the facts. Okay, because remember, nonfiction can only be facts, okay, things that we are true. A pig will eat almost anything. Farmers feed pigs corn, grains, or slops. Some pigs dig up plants and worms to eat. Ooh, so, and I let that go a little too far before I hit pause. So that gave me information about what they eat. So I can write it down under the eat section. So boys and girls, I, I'm not going to go through this whole book with you. I only wanted to show you a piece and so that you could see how I'm gathering information. Okay. I'm listening to the video. I'm pausing it and I'm writing down the facts that I'm hearing from the story, okay? And I'm putting them into sections because later when I go to write my nonfiction story, the more facts I have about my animal, the easier it is for me to do my writing. So you wanna hold on to the paper that you set up. Remember, you didn't have to write it, all this information down because that's about pigs, what I'm doing. You're gonna be doing this for your animal. So you have choices. If you already know what animal you would like to use, maybe you want to try this today. Maybe you want to try to gather some facts and, and see if you can get some. Even if you only listen to some of your video and write down some facts, okay, you can do that. Um, and if not, then you're going to see me do this, do some more again tomorrow. All right, boys and girls, I hope you are starting to understand a little about how to gather facts from other nonfiction texts.